How about them Cowboys? Yes! I mean, week two did not exactly go near as expected, as you guys can tell by my predictions and what ended up happening. Two o'clock games absolutely destroyed me, but I managed to pick it up back up at the 5.30 games, and we barely just managed to sort of break even on last week. So we haven't had, we've had two average weeks. You know, we're, we're sitting in the middle of the ballpark here. We're not, we're not doing great. We're not doing bad. We're just sitting happy. We're just sitting pretty. Um, but uh, looking at those abysmal two o'clock games, even though my Cowboys did end up beating the Cincinnati Bengals, that put me a good point up. Uh, we had some crazy uh, games in week two. Um, but yeah, let's talk about, but that's week two. Let's talk about week three. Now, for the Thursday night game, I picked Cleveland, even though they lost to, in my opinion, to the worst team in the league, the New York Jets, which once again, will not be picking uh, for this entire season. Unless, unless they start beating guys like Tampa Bay and Green Bay and stuff like that and the Buffalo Bills. If the Jets beat the Buffalo Bills, maybe I'll look at them more seriously. But until then, not not gonna happen so that was a bit of a loss but i still went with my gut i picked the browns and the browns ended up winning so we're starting off week three with a w um but that being said let's go over the other picks for sunday football so the first matchup is the chicago bears versus the houston texans now because the two o'clock games did me sort of dirty last week, especially some upsets and that kind of idea. I decided to go with a bit of a long shot here and I'm going with the Texans. I don't trust the Bears and uh, I think the Texans might end up pulling out some stops for us. Who knows, they're not a very good team, but then again, neither are the Bears. So I'm going with the Texans for a bit of an upset. Same with the following game with the Vegas Raiders against the Tennessee Titans. I don't trust those Raiders. Raider Nation has never been a thing. It never will be a thing. And uh, I'm going with the Titans. Another upset. Another upset. Um, that being said, then we start picking some favorites. Then we just go. Then we start playing smart. We're going with the Kansas City Chiefs over the Indianapolis Colts for obvious reasons. Putting up zero damn points. Last week. The Colts were abysmal last week. Uh, Buffalo Bills is an easy pick against Miami. Though I think that will be a tough game for Buffalo because once again division rivalries always seem to play a little harder than any other team even if the team seems to be lower in rankings and lower in stats I find like division games are always tighter than everybody expects but I'm still going with the favorite the Buffalo Bills probably the best current team in the league uh, then I'm going with the Minnesota Vikings against the Detroit Lions but I won't be surprised if the Lions win this is probably one of my hardest picks uh, to pick this week uh, yeah, it's right up there with one other pick. Uh, picking the Minnesota Vikings uh, to beat the Detroit Lions. Sort of wanted to go with the Lions, but I think I'm going to stick with Vikings. Uh, Baltimore Ravens against New England Patriots. Fuck Bill Belichick. Never liked him in the first place, that big fat cheater. So let's go Ravens. Uh, even though, once again, the Ravens also let me down last week. But then uh, New England, you know, kind of... Uh, once again, they're sort of, they sort of been like this, you know. So the dynasty's over. Tom Brady's gone. Let's not be picking New England every week, right? Uh, then, of course, the Cincinnati Bengals versus the New York Jets. We beat up on Cincinnati, though we got very cocky. Uh, our T Dallas Cowboys did beat the Cincinnati Bengals, but uh, the Bengals still look to me like a better team than the Jets. I just think that the, the Browns, once again, it's the Jets. No one takes them seriously, and people get cocky, right? So uh, I'm still going with the Cincinnati Bengals as the favorite. Then uh, we got the uh, Philadelphia Eagles versus the Washington uh, no, sorry, the Washington Commanders. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles, easy pick there. Washington is not a very good team. And the Eagles kind of are. The Eagles are the only real contender in our division uh, for top dog, uh, being the Dallas Cowboys. So uh, going with the Eagles there. Uh, yeah, so a lot of favorites after picking some pretty heavy upsets with uh, Houston and Tennessee. As you can tell, I'm going with a lot of the favorites this week. Um, and then the New Orleans Saints versus the Carolina Panthers. Fuck Carolina, man. Carolina let me down hard. No, Carolina ain't it this year. Carolina ain't it. I thought I thought they were so, supposed to be good. On paper, people on articles and radio stations, people told me the Panthers are supposed to be good. Yeah, I'm not seeing that. So let's go Saints. Uh, Chargers against Jacksonville. Though Jacksonville did show up last week, I still got more faith in the Chargers than I do the Jaguars. We're going the Chargers. 
Los Angeles Rams versus the Arizona Cardinals. Rams. Rams all day. Uh, they're still the, the Super Bowl champions. And uh, I think they shook the rust off. So, let's go. Uh, Seattle Seahawks against the Atlanta Falcons. Seahawks. I, I, I really don't want to pick the Falcons. <laughs> and then, next up, we have uh, a bit of an upset pick. Bit of an upset pick here. Though, I think it's a little... I think it's a little closer than some people are going to want to believe. Uh, it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Green Bay Packers, and I'm going with not Tom Brady. I'm going with Green Bay. I'm going with the Green Bay Packers. Uh, even though I, I do know it's an upset, and I sort of expect to lose it, but you can't pick all favorites. Sometimes you got to go against the grain, and uh, I don't like seeing. I really don't. Even though I make my picks separately, I print off the schedule, I don't see odds, then I make uh, my picks. Uh, realistically, when you go to the stats, when you see these type of matchups, when you see, you know, uh, the, the heavy hitters against each other, people will tell you the odds and the spread and all that stuff. But once again, any given Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, any given Sunday, that's where that saying comes from. Green Bay can beat Tampa Bay. I have no reason to believe they can't. And uh, a lot of people are going to be going with the Buccaneers. So if I can get plus one and maybe get a dog back in the race... We'll wait and see. So I'm going with the Packers. Um, this is my hardest uh, pick probably next to Minnesota uh, against Detroit is San Francisco 49ers against the Denver Broncos. I originally picked the Broncos as a, as a fifth upset this week, but uh, I decided, you know what, I want to play it a little safe because uh, last week was not that great and I'd like to really hit a double-digit week. So I went with a number of favorites. I originally had Denver but I switched it to San Francisco. Denver hasn't really shown me that they're a super strong team yet, and the 49ers have. So I'm gonna go with the 49ers this week against my initial uh, idea of picking Denver. I did switch the pick here on the Friday. Um, and then now we have the final, the Monday night game. How about them Cowboys? I don't know why they're not favorited. Apparently they're not. Cowboys, Giants suck. <laughs> Let's go, Cowboys. Yes, are the Giants winning? Yes, but they're not winning great, and they're not winning against great teams. And the Cowboys are doing well. So, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, are they doing great? No, but for having our second string quarterback, you know, having our backup play and showcase some good offense, our defense was amazing in week one, regardless what happened to the offense. And uh, in week two, we showed up on both fronts, you know, then we got cocky, I'll admit it, in the second half, but the Cowboys impressed me way more than the Giants. So uh, it's not just favoritism on that, but I have no reason to not have faith in my boys. So let's go, how about them Cowboys? And that is, are my picks for week three in the NFL. Definitely stay safe, guys. Uh, the hurricane's coming up here in Eastern Canada, uh, Friday night into Saturday. Uh, that hurricane that's been devastating uh, Fiona, that's been devastating uh, both Puerto Rico, Bermuda, all these places. Um, and I really hope that everybody's been staying safe. Uh, so that's why all these videos are being made on Friday. But uh, they'll be scheduled and released on YouTube as, uh, you know, during this weekend. But there will be power outages, yada, yada, yada. But yeah, hope you guys uh, have been following along with the picks. Hope you've been enjoying these little, little quick uh, picks and predictions for the NFL uh, that I've been doing here for this year for 2022 two, 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 two. and uh, yeah, so like comment and subscribe as always don't forget to drink Responsibly as always and we'll see you guys back here next time for week number four Let's hope we get double-digit wins We're starting off with one with the Thursday night game I need at least nine more wins this week, but let's try to go for it Let's try to win the damn week people. Let's try to win the damn week with a couple of these upsets so, that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you back here next time for more Sunday football next Sunday. See ya.